Welcome everyone to our Python day two course. So if you remember last time we got our editor configured, we downloaded Python, we went through a few basic variable projects, um, pretty simple stuff. Today we're gonna get in more in depth with it. Uh, we'll get into if statements, true or false statements, for loops, while loops, and we'll even get into the turtle module, which allows you to draw different shapes on a different type of screen. So today we'll be more in depth. Uh, I'm gonna continue. So as I said, for loops, while loops, the turtle module, true and false statements, and if or else statements will be covered in today's class. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. This is our true or false statements slide, okay? Um, as I code this, I'm gonna explain it to you. So I'm gonna escape. And what I want you to do right now is open your idle editor. Remember we installed this last time. And you're gonna go to file, new file. You're gonna do control S, make sure to save it in Python projects. And we're gonna call this, um, we'll call this if and else statements if and slash true or false because they're both incorporated in one project. Okay. okay, we'll save this. It's not a valid name. You can't add slashes. Okay, I'll just do I'll just do if and else statements, and then I'll do dot true or false. There. You can close the previous, and you, I'll maximize this. So now I'm going to begin coding. So the, this is going to be our scenario. We're going to pretend like we're coding a software, like a weather, a weather kind of app that basically tells you what the weather is, whether it's stormy or clear, something like that. So first, we're going to define two different things, stormy weather and clear weather, okay? So we're going to say stormy weather. Remember, this is a variable, variable, okay? Or a condition, rather, in this case, okay? That we're setting equal to true. This is a condition, so if it's stormy weather, okay? Next, we have clear weather, clear weather. This is another condition. We'll set this equal to false. Because if it's stormy, it can't be clear, okay? Now, th those are our true and false statements, okay? We can change those later. I'll show you how to do those. But for now, we'll just keep them up there. Those are our conditions. Next, you're gonna press enter twice, and we're gonna incorporate our if statements now. So we'll have if, right? If stormy weather, basically saying if the weather is stormy, we want it to do something. You put a colon, press enter, right? If it's stormy weather, we want it to print the weather is stormy. We're going to close the print statement, right? So remember, this is a string, anything inside quotation. So what we just said is really simple. If it's stormy weather is equal to true, print the weather is stormy. Next, we're going to have another if statement, but instead of saying if again, that doesn't work in Python. So what you'll have to do is call, do L if. Um, this basically means else if, so it's another condition in the if statement if another thing is true. So say else if it's clear weather, weather right? You put a colon after it so that it knows. And then you're gonna say print, so if it's clear weather, we're going to say the weather is clear. Okay. And lastly, we're going to add an else statement. So else basically means if none of the if statements are true, if the if isn't true, if any of the elif aren't true, we're going to have an else. Okay. So else, and you don't put anything because there's no conditions. If none of these are true, you're just going to put a colon. Under that, you're going to do print unknown weather, whether it is stormy outside. Okay, so this is basically a really simple kind of like a weather uh, scenario. So now this is where the true and false values come into play. 
So right now we have our stormy weather to true, our clear weather to false. So since we have our stormy weather to true, when we run this, it's gonna print the weather is stormy, okay? However, if we set this to false, and both of these aren't true, it's not stormy or clear, like it's unknown, then it's gonna print, it is unknown whether it is stormy or clear outside, and then lastly, if we change clear weather to true, and we run it, it's going to say the weather is clear. So that's basically how to use if statements and how to incorporate true or false statements within it. Uh, now I'm going to hand it over to Sid for for loops. Make sure to save this, by the way, in your folder. Okay. So now we're going to be doing for loops. And so before we start coding anything, I just want to give you guys a heads up. For loops, repeat the selected code that you have over and over again until there's something to stop it. So there could be some variable which has stop, or there could be an end to the code. And they're also usually in sequences to get out the different values which are stored inside. So now we can start coding. Um, Arnav, I think screen sharing is disabled, so you will need to turn that on. Okay. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen. Um, can you guys see it? Yeah. Okay. So Ornov left us off over here, and we're going to create a new file. And we're going to click File, New File, and it's going to come up. Um, so once we save it, I'm going to reshare. So we're going to save this file now by pressing Control S, and then we're going to save it as for loops. And once you have saved it, it'll come up here to name, and we can get started coding. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off by writing for letter in, in quotation marks, hello world. So base, what this basically does is it's asking us the letters with our, that are inside hello world. Then we're gonna write print letter. So before I run the program and you can find out what's gonna happen, I'll just give you a little bit of a heads up. So since we're saying the letters that are in hello world, when we run the program, it's gonna tell us individually what letters come up. So you can run the, run the module. And as you can see, it says hello world in all the different- We can't see it. Okay, one second. So as you can see here now, I think it says hello world in all different letters. So sorry for me, I have to keep resharing because um, it doesn't let me do it in one thing. So you can that's- just your screen. Okay, or not, let me try that. Okay, can you, is it good now? Yeah. Okay. So now we're done with for loops, I'm gonna move on to while loops. And then from there, I'll, I'll give it to Devonch. So make sure you save this once again by pressing Control S and we're gonna create another file. And now that you've done that, um, just save it by pressing Control S. And this one we're gonna name while loops. And now you've done that, the name will appear up here and we can get started with our coding. So first we're gonna start off with our a variable. We're gonna write X is equal to 10. And then once we do that, we're gonna write while X is less than 20. We're gonna say X plus, and then we're gonna write is equal to one. So you'll be confused by as to what these this means, but just give me a little bit and I'll explain it to you so you don't get confused. And then just write print X. So basically what this means is that when we have, we're setting X to first of all equal to 10. And until we are reaching the uh, value of 20, we're gonna keep adding one digit until we get there. So now let's run our program. Um, and as you can see, it tells me in each individual value until I get to the number 20. So now I'll hand it over to Devonch so he can do turtle. Okay, so we're going to be coding the turtle module. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to share my screen. Okay, so I'm going to open up. 
And from here, we're going to be making a new project just for the turtle. So you can click Control S, save it in your C drive, the second to last, in Python projects, which is where all of our uh, projects are stored. And we can name this uh, turtle module. And now, OK, uh, one thing. So uh, we're going to click File, New File, and now we're gonna store this in the turtle uh, in the C drive. So we can click save C drive. Okay, now we can save this. So I'll just make a turtle. Okay, so now now we can start coding. Okay, so we're gonna be on day one. If you remember, we used a import so, and we imported math. But instead of math, we're gonna be importing turtle now you may ask why am i using an animal name in code there is no explanation to that it's just a module that consists of many different um many different functions that you can't use without importing it so you have to use turtle so we're going to make a variable which is wn i'm going to set that equal to turtle dot screen so this like calls upon the screen function in turtle. And we're actually gonna be making a window. So if you take a look, this Python is actually a new window. We're gonna be creating a window just like this, where we can uh, draw, draw pictures and animations and things like that. So wn.bgcolor. So BG color stands for background color, and you can set this to whatever color you want to in a string. So I want it to be cyan. Once again, it could be anything. If your favorite color is blue, you can just type in blue. So I want it to be cyan. Or um, we can change it to aqua. Okay, so now wn.setup. So here, I want to specify in my program the length and width of this new window that we are going to be creating. So width equals 600 and height equals 600, a square. That's what we're going to be creating. OK, so now let's go ahead and run our program uh, just, to, just in case and just to see if this works. And there we have it. We have a aqua background um, window that we've just created. And now we're gonna be making a image in the center of that. So we need a new variable for a new image in the center. So we're gonna be creating a circle in the middle of our new window. So we can name our new variable something like head, because maybe if you want in the future to use this as like, um, just anything, if you want a new animation or a new picture, let's we'll just name it head for now. Um, and we can set this to turtle dot capital T turtle. Make sure, same thing for here, screen and here turtle, you make it capital because that's really important. So now we want to name, let's say I want my new object to be a circle. So head dot shape. Okay. Now I want it to be something else other than white. I want it to be a specific color. So we can do head dot color. We can do something like red. All right, so now we're gonna be using a new function in Python, which is pen up. So you might be wondering what is pen up? So in turtle, in the turtle module, there's this little arrow shape thing. If you've ever looked in a GPS, whatever it's guiding you in the GPS, it's like a little arrow shape, right? So that's going to appear when it's drawing your circle and the, the images that you make. So we don't want to see that. So we need this pen up function. Now, I want my head to be in a specific location. I want it to be right in the center, not above a little or not below. I want it to be in the center. So we'll do head dot go to and here we're going to write coordinates zero zero so if you don't know what zero zero is the first one is for x and the second is y so x controls left and right and y is up and down so zero zero is 
whatever object you're in, it's the exact center. And last one, we're gonna do head dot shape size. So we're gonna do stretch underscore width. So stretch width equals two. So this is how big our circle is going to be. And we're gonna do stretch underscore length. So length, and we want it to be two. So it's symmetrical. All right, we're gonna run it and let's see what it does. Just like that, we have our window and we've created a circle in the middle. So let's increase the size of this circle since I feel like it's a little bit too small. So we can just play around with this, change colors and things like that. And it's much bigger now. So it's clear to see, and this could be, in the future, you could create some sort of drawing or something like that. All right, so um, that's pretty much it. And Arnav will take it from here and yep. Okay, so that's gonna be pretty much it for today. We covered everything we needed to cover. Um, if you have any questions, you can email us, but I'm pretty sure, every, yeah, everything is, everything was covered. Um, if you ever have any difficulties with your code, we can help you. You can schedule a time with us um, later. Just shoot us an email and we'll be, you'll be good to go. But for now, um, hope this recording helped in case you missed anything. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.